Today we also paid a visit to a high-tech company in Santa Fe that's running 3D models on what the Wallow Fire is doing. We got a detailed look at the types of vegetation and the topography that firefighters are dealing with. Gotti Schwartz is live from Santa Fe with a look. Gotti. Tom, two of these high-tech simulation tables or sim tables are being used in Reserve, New Mexico right now to track the fire and give a very detailed image on how the fire's moving. Give me that electron projector. Some sand, a high-tech projector, and Google Earth are at the core of a 3D simulation that is modeling the giant wallow fire burning towards New Mexico. When a fire gets this big, it's really uh, Mother Nature's in control. And the winds are going to be the biggest factor. With the point of a laser, you can see that if the winds continue, the fire could continue to burn towards the town of Luna on the New Mexico side of the border. This is how the Wallow Fire has progressed, looking southwest since it started. What we see is it really scooped up and, and grew significantly. The simulator shows topography that will play an important role in how the fire moves and how firefighters will try and stop it. On the New Mexico side, some ridges could prove difficult. The fires tend to accelerate uphill. With the sim table, it's also easy to see just how close an important power line in New Mexico is to the fire. Black line here is a power line uh, that is uh, running from the Palo Verde nuclear power plant and supplies much of southern New Mexico and eastern Texas. It also shows the types of vegetation that could slow the fire up north. You see that this is mostly short grass or what we might consider to be desert. But in New Mexico, some areas also have have dense vegetation that is still very dry. As we're back over here on the west in New Mexico, across the New Mexico border and either south, we see we're in very similar high density fuel types. Now, firefighters on the fire lines can use this table uh, to simulate what air tankers and bulldozer lines would do with current weather conditions. Reporting live from Santa Fe, Gotti Schwartz, KOBI Witness News 4.